Macro buttons are text expanders which can save you some time when you're writing up your clinical note. In any short text box, simply click into the text box and you'll see a macro buttons window pop up below. You'll see I have some created here and I'll go over how to create macro buttons as well. These are available for you to use when charting on the web or on the iPad EHR app. So all you need to do is click on the macro button and it'll populate the text that you have saved. To create a macro button, Go to Clinical Macro Buttons, and you'll see your existing macro buttons listed on the left. You can always come here and edit a macro button if needed. Similarly to your form builder, you have a label name, which is what shows up for the button. And then you also have the generated text box, which determines the text that actually shows up when you click the macro button. If you want to create a new one, click blank give it a label name, and then type in the generated text box. You can leverage some buttons up here, for instance, if I want to include the patient's first name. You can also leverage custom demographic fields, as well as date and time buttons and then hit save. Now let's move over to the iPad to see how these work on the iPad EHR. To use macro buttons in the iPad EHR, go into a clinical note, and all you have to do is tap into a short text box. Then you'll see the keyboard pop up and all your macro buttons will be sitting on top of that keyboard. Then tap the macro button and it will populate the text box with that macro. You can also use macro buttons in the yellow sticky note section at the bottom of each clinical note section. Again, just tap into that section and you'll see the macros on top of your keyboard. And you can use this again in both the yellow sticky note section of the iPad EHR as well as on the web.